The sun is finally showing in Malmo. <laughs> well, a little bit at least. And I have my Letson Alpha LED bar from Deodorant installed, all thanks to my good friend Marco. Uh, the installation was super easy. Uh, I didn't even need that canvas thing. And uh, you can't even see the LED bar. So I'm gonna show you. I have some before video and after video on show you. But it was really easy and, my, and I'm really happy with it. So this is the before. Uh, this is not a pitch black road. I got a bunch of lights around me and a train station behind me, etc. So, but this is the darkest road uh, closest to me. And uh, I don't complain about the original lights on these cars. This is the standard and this is the high beam. But it looks way weaker on camera actually. It looks better in real life. But this is uh, before the lead wrap. But I promise you, it looks way better um, in real life than it does on the iPhone camera. And now I'm back again at the same place. As I said, it's not the darkest place in the world, but let's see the difference now with my new LED bar. From what I've seen so far, I'm really, really happy with it. So yeah, it doesn't go, I noticed that before, it doesn't go as wide as I wanted to. The original high beam goes wider, but the, this LED bar goes way f longer and higher and yeah and much focus on the ground I could v uh, angle it up but uh, I think my front grille will uh, steal the light then so uh, this is the result and once again it looks much better in real life than it does on video but uh, you can at least see how much wider and clearer the, the light is. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm happy with it. And I, of course, I'm going to show you how, what it looks like or actually how well it's hidden. And I'm most happy with that. When driving on normal roads like this, where there are signs and markings, there's a huge difference. Uh, all, all the signs, I almost, I almost get blinded by all the signs. So, uh, yeah, I'm really happy that I did this mod. Yes, my car is very dirty, but it's winter. I'm going to clean it tomorrow or something. So, if you don't know that the LED bar is there, you can almost not see it at all. So, like this, there is no way to say that there is a LED bar. You need to go really up close and really low. And there you can see a hint of it right under the re registration plate. But I'm going to show you what, what it looks like when I put on the high beam. I don't think there's a use for me to show you uh, right in front of it because it will only blend the camera which it probably will do now as well but so you get a hint of it and the installation was really easy i saw a bunch of videos where guys took like two days to do this uh, in the crash bar in the front there is a hole for the horn. I used one of those holes. It was a hole longer back uh, where I put the horn instead. And then I drilled a new hole in the bar uh, for the other side. And then plus from battery grounded and I stole the signal from the high beam. That's it. Nothing else. No canvas thing. Yeah, nothing else. So, and I didn't even took off the front to to uh, drill the hole in the 
crash bar. I had to cut the, the drill bit very short, like three centimeters. I think that's just over an, uh, an inch. And then I could uh, drill the hole. Oh, it wasn't even me, it was Marco, as usual, who did the job, but it was quite easy. Not at all, as you see in the videos. So that's why I don't even bother doing an uh, installation video.